Good morning. Hey. How are you doing? Good. And you? Uh, not too bad. I, uh, morning. morning. I managed to mess up my back and I'm now able to to sit for a decent period of time, but uh I made art of him. Duffy getting a lot of background noise. Yeah, my family getting ready for this one. Okay. Krita, I've made you host. No, well, co-host. Are you going to share your screen, Bob? Um, that's kind of your. If you want me to share, I can share. Otherwise, you know, feel free. It's honestly kind of depends on the person. Okay. Do you have a preference? Do you mind sharing your screen so I don't go through the whole, oh, can I share my screen or not? Or Oh, that's why I made you co-host. I haven't tested it yet on this okay. one. Okay. Give me Thanks, a sec. Bob. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Do we have someone from Tag Storage here yet? Okay. Well, it looks like we have quorum, so we may as well get started. So, thank you, everyone. Emily is out today, so I am your host for today. And today is Tuesday, September 3rd. And thank you all for being here. We're in the public TOC meeting. And uh, just a quick reminder that we do follow the Linux Foundation Code of Conduct. So if you are unfamiliar, please go review it again and familiarize yourself. And today our agenda is... There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. So today we have tag updates. So thank you for tag environmental sustainability um, to go first. And then we will have tag storage. And then a quick reminder for all uh, TOC members that we have a couple of votes and we can review those. We have time after the tag updates. Okay, so Leo. I made you, you I made you co-host Leo, so you should be able to share. All right, thank you. Let me share my screen. I also sent a link to the updates in chat. Um, they should be 98% up to date. <laughs> Maybe I will add some stuff, but should be all right. Um, this time I um, created this diagram to hopefully visualize a bit better what we are working on. Um, maybe in notes, like over the last two months or so, a lot of contributors, including myself, were on vacation. So I think if, if you compare the updates, this update is a bit smaller. Um, so not a lot of new things, um, but old things are still in progress. Um, all right. So... If you scroll down uh, this link, there's also written notes and links to things. Um, so we have in our tag two uh, big working groups to run on the left, green reviews. Both of them are, we established them last year. Um, both of them are still active, going well. 
Um, the one on the left, green reviews, is a more technical one um, where we aim to pull um, CNCF projects and try to assess the sustainability footprint, which is right now mostly around uh, energy consumption. Um, and we have completed the first step. So we kind of set out the roadmap for to split into four parts. Right now, the second part and the third part um, are in sort of parallel work. So the first one is is proposed, discussed, implemented. It's around pulling a project um, and then making it basically ready to deploy. So running the infrastructure. And the second one is around um, running benchmarking. So we have numbers to, um, to make assessments of and, and also publishing those numbers. And the second one, that's also why it's a bigger one right now. The, the circle is a bit bigger because this is like the main focus of the working group right now. Uh, the proposal is discussed and implemented, uh, uh, discussed and uh, the pro proposal is pushed, but not yet implemented. The implementation is happening, um, but close to finish. Uh, and the team is already discussing the third proposal, which is about reporting or basically presenting any numbers that we generate. Um, and eventually we will we would also like to push these numbers to um the dev the devops dashboard that we have about contributions and and so on um but this is like in the future um right now we try to just wrap up one project which is falco um and then get towards uh, onboarding new projects um sometime next next year hopefully and then the fourth one, so it's like the, the line is dotted. So it's it's not it's kind of a to do task, something that we are planning to do, is focusing on benchmark benchmarking, and that we also we need to focus on that the numbers that we um, publish are also accurate, of course. Um, and since this is also somewhat a scientific topic, research is being done. Um, we need to assess this over time. And we need to focus at the numbers that we get from tools that we use, Kepler, for example, or maybe other tools as well, uh, make sense and are aligned and the numbers are good and correct. Uh, and the benchmarking that we do also sort of cover certain different scenarios and that the numbers are also representative in some ways uh, to the community. Um, so this is like in the future. This is um, what the working group has been working on. Um, we see quite a good of involvement contributor wise. Uh, and the working group is also looking into or pushing towards getting some of the very active contributors for the last half year or year uh, into leadership positions if they like to. So they can also um, have yeah, a bit more weight into how things are going and, and how uh, things are shaped. But I think everything is going very well. Um, yeah. Any questions regarding the first bubble? How has um, cross tag uh, collaboration been going with the green reviews? So for the green reviews, I'm not aware of a lot of cross tag collaboration. There was cross project or cross community collaboration. So with Falco, for example, but or also with the GSF. Uh, and also with the Kepler team. So the Kepler team is working towards a similar goal. Um, Kepler CI is a new project. And we talked uh, with the Kepler maintainers for quite quite a bit about this, how to align initiatives. Um, and right now we do not sort of align the code. It's two separate code bases, but we share our approaches and, and so on. So it's like a, um, so we have these APAC meetings which started like two or three months ago. Uh, and a lot of Kepler maintainers are uh, in the Asia time zones. And these APEC meetings were very helpful to actually notice these efforts and already have been proven very useful. So there's not really like a tag, cross tag collaboration as far as I'm aware of, but I was not in every meeting, um, but like a cross community collaboration. It might be good to pull in um, to see if the working group would like to pull in some members from TAG runtime for the benchmarking or maybe um, 
tag observability. No, if anybody else has questions or comments on this for Leo. Yeah, so benchmarking definitely is like one of the bigger things that we focus on. And we also try to reach out to community members to get a bit more involvement, also expertise from these sections. And we did in the past, but yeah, more contribution would be useful. But I will make a note. That's good feedback. Yeah, thanks. I'll, um, I'll, I'll also bring this to the tag observability meeting uh, just after this meeting as well. Thanks for the call out. I'm sure some some of our members might like to help. All right, awesome. I, I can also send uh, the tracking issue. Maybe I, I also linked it somewhere. Okay. All right, then moving to the next bubble, um, working group comms. So the comms working group is, so we have been not so fortunate in terms of that the leadership was sticking around, um, but this was not a problem of the tag, it was basically just a change from the um, working group chair's role in the company that um, support wise from the company, they had to had less time. So we had quite a bit of change in leadership. And because of this, it's also a bit, um, un the entire working group is not as settled as the other one. So working group green reviews is doing very well and everything is going very smooth. Uh, working group comms, we are looking for uh, a second chair and try to establish uh, a bit more the agenda. So we have um, one big topic, which is the Cloud Native Sustainability Week, which is more or less like capsulated. So we have a couple of leads that are focusing just on this. Um, and it's going very well. We have right now 17 meetups planned in October. We'll talk about um, Cloud Native Sustainability, but more will come. Uh, we will also have a small virtual meetup. So like last year, this year will also be, looks to be like a very nice event. Um, and besides that, um, as I said, the working group comes is trying to get more leadership in. Um, we have a couple of folks that are interested in working group comms chair role and also in the tech lead role. And we will sort things over the next weeks. Um, and then with the leadership and with the chairs, we can also then establish the agenda a bit better. So basically what we have on the left side with um, sort of this roadmap, deploy, run, report, and so on, something similar, um, would be the hope for working group comms that we have like a more clear, these are the four big pillars uh, of working group comms for us. Uh, and hopefully we can work on this until the rest of the year. Um, yeah. KubeCon NA is another topic. So we have a maintainer talk, we have a booth, uh, and we also are planning to have meetups like last time. So in KubeCon Paris, we had meetups with 20, 30 people which was very nice. Hopefully we can arrange something similar um, in Salt, Salt Lake City. Um, right. And then we have two things sort of in the works or on the horizon, which is, first of all, the user stories. So we've been work, uh, talking about this, uh, honestly, for like two months, three months now. Um, and everything is sort of discussed. And because of vacations and so on things are getting a bit stall um but people are still interested picking this up and i think this would be excellent um sort of like an excellent thing to produce a couple of blog posts about it until end of the year so this is something that we will start as well and we've been working last year a lot on the landscape document um but the landscape document is in a way like an document which needs a lot of maintenance um, and it has been a bit challenging managing over time a document which is 20 30 pages and also updating it and and so on it's so we are thinking about how to redefine it um, this also goes a bit in the direction of um, the new issue that the TOC opened 
about understanding the the landscape in general um what the community is working on so this could very go uh, very likely go in the same direction so we'll see right um and the last one project green scraper is a smaller project which is basically about scraping the web about cloud native sustainability meetups and events and talks and we will publish information then on our website and this project is somewhat close to finish so probably within the next month or so we can wrap this project up and have have something published to the website any questions So it's a great work. I love the I love the, the graph format. It's actually really good. <laughs> yeah, I hope this also visualizes like where the big topics are. So Cloud Native Sustainability Week is certainly like a, a large effort also for us. Um, a lot of people are coming to the meetings and and so on. So I think like last year, we hope that with this event, we also get a lot of traction afterwards. Some of the leads are sticking around, ambassadors. Uh, are stacking around and so on. Um, yeah. Right. So to the other ones, we are still doing the meetings, of course, um, trying to uh, get an overview about everything, try to figure out where are the problems, what people are interested in. Um, we've been talking about some adjustments in terms of how to facilitate the meetings, where to put like the sort of the focus of the, these meetings a bit more projects and maybe also some scientific work um but this is like something that we like always like uh, taking in account all the time so how to improve these meetings make it more useful um the apec meetings i think were very good um and we continue to do to do those every two weeks like the tag meeting um we need another facilitator for for the apec meeting um, but I think uh, on the meeting side, everything is fine. Um, there's like some stuff coming up in terms of elections. Um, so after two years chair term, um, there's basically, this is like the period after a new uh, nomination cycle um, is starting, which should be end of September, early October. Um, right. And then we onboarded Siam as a new tech lead and we are looking into finding some more tech leads um, and we already have some some ideas and yeah nominations are coming sometime hopefully this year hopefully we'll find some more tech leads right and then one new topic is about ai so there was some initiatives or or there are ongoing initiatives in tech runtime around ai um, and there was also some work with where they talked about sustainability and now a new project sort of emerged over the last like one, two months ago um, to work on a new white paper. And there's um, and also linked the document further down. Um, it's actually growing like long document. Um, I think it is also very interesting and it should be published or ready for review sometime in September so we can publish it before KubeCon NA. Um, so I think this is also a very interesting and good initiative. So if you're interested in this topic, feel free to review it now or we will send a notification in the next weeks uh, about it. So that would be very helpful uh, to get some more feedback. Um, and then besides this, uh, we started a project earlier this year around exploring Kubernetes and sustainability. And we stopped the project so we opened up a bunch of issues to explore certain areas and the issues are also kind of refined. So sometimes like a page long or longer. Um, so the idea is now after wrapping up this project uh, or closing this project that we use all this exploration work to write blog posts or start up new projects, which are more specific, not like Kubernetes and sustainability, like a huge broad generic area, but more specific about certain topics. Um, yeah. And then the last thing is about tech ambassadors. 
So there's still the idea to integrate uh, CNCF ambassadors more with the tag. Uh, and we already have a bunch of ambassadors contributing to the tag. And there was the idea from one of the contributors to work on work on this, sort of use the tag environmental sustainability as a um, test, test ground, proving ground uh, for how to maybe uh, connect these programs um, and we will see where this goes. But this is like, there's a dotted line, so it's work in progress, we will see. Any questions? How have your APAC meetings been going? How's the attendance there? The attendance, um, I think, is similar to the working groups. So it's around six people, maybe nine sometimes. So the first ones were, it it changes a bit, um, but the attendance, I think it's going kind of well. Um, yeah. But we need like another host um, so Siam does not have all the pressure to always host. And in general, also with the other tag meeting, we all, as I said, like we need to look into focusing to increase the value of these meetings because like some meetings are very good. And then sometimes it's basically just like a updates, um, round, round of updates, which is for some maybe not so interesting. So mi mixing both things obviously talking about updates so everybody is aware of what is happening, but also focusing on giving some more value to, to the time that you invest. Um, yeah. Um, so I was asking because I wonder for other tag leads that are on this call, um, for your community members in the APAC region, I wonder if there could be some joint tag discussions and maybe you could find another tag lead or mm -hmm. not tag, but um, APAC meeting co-host um, through one of the other tags. That's that's a good idea. Maybe, yeah. I think some other tags started the APAC meetings, but I haven't actually checked those out yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think um, like our... Uh, maybe just one very quick. Uh, our APEC meeting, I think, is going kind of well because also the Kepler team is uh, active and engaged, and most of the attendees are coming from this direction. So, um, yeah. But from my experience, it takes a bit of time until like meetings stick with the community and people are aware and joining them from time to time. So, we just need to be patient as well. Um, so from the comments, it looks like um, tag observability, um, tag security, and tag network are all looking into APAC meetings. I wonder if this could be something the tags can look at together um, on that region. And, and Bob points out that tag observability would be a good partner in that region. So maybe... Since uh, Matt, you're already going to follow up on the other topic, maybe um, bring that one up too. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. our, our, the, the APEC meetings we've had, we've had three or four of them, and they've been, you know, the same sort of um, smaller set, sample size. But many of the projects, um, like Chaos Plate, I think was the last week one, um, uh, would have concerns across multiple tags. So perhaps you know, uh, we tags can kind of coordinate and perhaps if there's not enough critical mass, you know, we could have combined ones where projects could come and talk to multiple tags, like observability and networking, observability and security are, are two frequent, you know, cross-cutting concerns that projects would be going to both tags. Um, and some of the contributors are in the APAC region. So um, the response from those that have been attending is a, a giant thank you. You know, they've been getting up at one in the morning and stuff for, for years. So, um, yeah. but I want to be careful. We don't bifurcate our community as well. Um, so. okay. well, it'd be good to see some collaboration if possible. Um, yeah, I think it could yeah. also be a good theme. So it's like, um, 
this week we are collaborating with the other tech and talk about the sort of how these both domains intersect and so on. Could be an interesting theme. Right. Did you already? Okay, keep going. Thanks, Leo. All right. I think that's more or less it, at least from all the bubbles that I painted <laughs> in the diagram. Right. So upcoming, exactly, the TUC issue about the ecosystem. I remember there was also one about redefining or reworking some parts of the eco, uh, about the governance. Ryan opened an issue some time ago. The chair nominations are coming up. Right. So this is, for the most part, it. I think. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody else have questions? Uh, for tag environmental sustainability. All right. Thank you so much for your for your update. Thanks. Is tag storage? Are you ready to give your review or your sorry your update? Yeah. Uh... Give me one moment. I'll make you co-host. Okay. Okay, you should now be able to present. Okay, can you see it? Yes, thank you. All right. Um Okay, so for uh, tech storage, we had a few presentations from project teams recently. Um, CubeFS, they are applying for graduation. They gave a presentation to tech storage a few months ago. Uh, we have been working with uh, Kevin from TOC on the DD. We provided some comments. Uh, so we see that the project has made lots of progress over the years since it was initially donated in 2019. Uh, it has uh, quite a few uh, adopters now. Uh, so uh, this is still uh, working in progress. Um, and there was a um, CXL tech update from from Rick, uh, who is uh, from Jack Rabbit Labs. Uh, so CXL Compute Express Link, that's the open standard for high-speed, high-capacity connections between CPUs and uh, devices. Um, so Jack Rabbit Labs, they want to have a Kubernetes integration they uh, want to be able to have an orchestrator that dynamically provision memory to nodes based on usage. They have an open source project called the Jack that is a CLI tool um, that implements the CXL 2.0 fabric management API spec. Uh, that supports pooled memory. Um, they want to support 6L 3.0 and 3.1, which will support shared memory. So they're asking for some guidance. So we think that it's kind of early because right now there isn't hardware for 6L 3.0 yet. So it's hard to ask developers in the community to work on it. Um, there is an existing CSI driver for persistent memory from Intel that was developed a few years ago. So that's something that maybe they can take a look and, uh, and the leverage and see if they that's one approach they could use. And also uh, Alex that is going to uh, connect them with uh, Tech Runtime 
because memory that's also in the scope of the runtime. Um, so we also had a presentation from the, the Fluid team. Um, so they gave a presentation about two months ago. Um, they are applying for incubation. Fluid provides Kubernetes APIs for data access and distributed cache management. So it's a project that provides an orchestration layer for cache systems such as GeoSFS and Alusia. It has a CSI mode for storage systems uh, that have CSI drivers and a sidecar mode for storage systems that don't have a CSI. So it allows uh, data-driven applications such as uh, Spark and TensorFlow uh, to be able to more efficiently access data mm -hmm. that is stored in the storage systems such as S3 or HDFS or other systems. So we think it's a very interesting project. Um, it provides an operator for cache systems such as JuiceFS. Um, it provides a common interface so that end user will uh, just need to directly use a fluid interface and without uh, uh, interacting direct directly with the underlying cache system. Now, one uh, recommendation we gave them uh, during the call was to summarize why end users want to use Fluid and uh, not directly use JuiceFS or Alluxia. So those, that's something that they are going to look into and uh, address. And uh, we also had a presentation from Open EBS. Uh, so they talked about what they have done to address the concerns from the community, which led to the arch uh, archival of Open EBS. Previously, they um, want to reapply for Sandbox. Uh, one recommendation we gave them was to keep their roadmap and project status up to, up to date for all the sub-projects sub under Open EBS. Um, they do have quite a few sub-projects. So I took a look at the repo right before this meeting. It does look like uh, it is much better organized now. They listed different storage engines and their statuses in a table in the readme of the top Open EBS repo. And we also had a uh, presentation from Raphael and uh, uh, his coworker on storage needs for KubeWord. And uh, they are seeing more customers having requests in this area. Uh, so they discussed the challenges with regard to migrating data across heterogeneous storage systems. So we just had some discussions. Um, we don't really have a, a solution um, that is perfect at this moment. And uh, also uh, there was a presentation from uh, EDB. They talked about modern snapshots in a DB as a service. Uh, they talked about cloud native PG. Um, that provides an operator for running the PostgreSQL databases in Kubernetes. They compared doing backup and restore using object storage directly um, versus using <clears throat> volume snapshots. So they got big performance gains <clears throat> by switching to using uh, the Kubernetes API's volume snapshots. They are interested in reapplying for CNCF sandbox project. Um, 
So uh, those are the project presentations and we have some upcoming work. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, a few items that are working in progress. Uh, we are still wrapping up the performance and the benchmark uh, white paper. Um, we are working on storage landscape white paper, white paper version three. We identified the sections that need to be updated. Uh, we are still looking for owners to add a section about streaming and messaging. And um, we're working on qualitative DR white paper V2 uh, to include some feedbacks. And we are also working on data on Kubernetes white paper, data analytics and uh, AI machine workloads. So we are looking at the uh, characteristics of running data analytics and uh, AI machine workloads uh, in Kubernetes and the patterns and trends in data storage to meet those new challenges. So we have made some good progress on the paper. Um, and there are five items that are completed. Yeah, that's my update. Are there any questions? Um, for the streaming and messaging, have you synced with tag uh, runtime on whether they have somebody that can help with that as well? Oh, no, not yet. Yeah. Okay. So we can, can do that. Okay. And then you did mention benchmarking, um, the performance and benchmarking white paper. Um, so just to call out to Leo, tag storage would be a really good one too for your own benchmarking. Those are a couple of things that I saw. Um, any yeah. other, what's that? Okay. This, this is a, okay, this is a, a comment to, to Leo, okay. The data on Kubernetes white paper um, you mentioned the AI ML workloads. Are you working with the AI um, working group? On that? Uh, so I actually joined their meeting last Friday, I believe. Uh, yeah, the tech lead reached out to us, or not re reached out to us. So yeah, uh, so I plan to give them an update maybe in the next meeting. Nice. Does anybody have any questions for tag storage? Comments? I very much appreciated um, all the updates on the projects that have been presenting to you. It's very, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There are no other questions or comments. We thank you very much for your update to the TOC. So definitely second the, the thoughts about you know the updates that you're seeing and the Kubernetes storage piece is just going to become more and more important. Like we're starting to see, you know, everybody's trying to move away from some of the hyper the hypervisor solutions that were around previously, and that's where like Kubernetes really starting to show up in the industry. So it's, it's a very interesting topic. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what Rafael was saying. I was actually hoping Rafael to be on the call, but yeah, can probably provide more comments on that. Uh... Um, so Leo asked in the chat, where can he find the current V3 white paper? Oh, this white paper, V3? Uh, no, we just have a, um, it's it's more like a uh, outline. So, this is still a work in progress, but we can, yeah, we can, we can add a link next time. So if you want to help, that would be great. Could you also link in the, the other white papers that you're working on or how people can find? Okay. Yeah, I will add a 
where to collaborate on those. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Bob, I wonder if you could pull back up the um, yeah. the to-do items. Yep. One moment. Okay. So really quick reminder, the open votes. Uh, Kubej graduation. Um, saw that just before this meeting, Bob reopened the uh, Kujan stack voting for Sandbox. So please vote on that one too. The working group out of TAG app delivery, the infrastructure life cycle. Um, just need a couple more votes. I think we only need one more vote on that one. Um, also, Sarah Kristoff as a tech lead for TAG app delivery. And then we have three. It's all four for, uh, or sorry, it's one for app delivery, three for security. And three for security. So um, we all want to, you know, Marina, you're on the call. So we were. Um, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, just, just, we're just hoping to, we had a couple of uh, TL turnovers recently. So we're hoping to refill some of those, some of those spots. So. Excited to get some feedback from all of you on that. Perfect, thank you. Nice to see a number of new TLs coming in. Okay, so everybody, please vote. And since we do have some time, we could go through the backlog really fast. Um, actually, could you pull up the projects for Sandbox? Yeah, one moment. So another reminder is that the next Sandbox project review is um, October 8th. Um, a number of TAG leads have already uh, volunteered for the domain review um, for the upcoming projects. Thank you for putting them into the upcoming queue. If your TAG has not um, volunteered yet. The I'll post the spreadsheet into the tag toc um, Slack channel. Remember that if you want any updates, please make sure that you're watching the the tag toc channel, the tag leads channel, as well as the toc channel. Okay, and if you have any questions on that tag leads open the floor okay because we really appreciated the reviews for the august um, round they really helped okay the other thing that i will just show off real quick is starting to group these into milestones so that way you can see these are the ones slated for this for October. And then we'll sort of pad these out going forward for the next set of reviews. Nice. So, okay. Very nice. Okay. Um, we can pull up the outstanding issues. Okay. Yeah. I think that we will go through those asynchronously. I think right now um, we can probably end early and we thank both TAG environmental sustainability and TAG storage 
um, for both of your very thorough updates. And um, remember everybody to go vote. So since uh, you'll have a few minutes, okay. And take a look at the government governance remediation PR. Thanks, Bob. Um, can you link that one really fast so everybody can go look? Yep, I am pulling it up. Okay. There we go. I uh, post in chat. Open link to you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, it hasn't had much, much feedback on here yet. So definitely something for um, the tags to take a look at. Perfect. Okay, so tags, um, please review the governance remediation as well as um, assign volunteers or find volunteers for the next sandbox reviews. Yes. Okay. And with that, thank you everybody for joining today. And we will see you next time. Thanks all.